and my proposal, I, I chose to uh, I chose to do it on AIDS. Uh, when the cure uh, for HIV and AIDS uh, becomes available, should it be distributed to everybody? And the test subjects will be people who are infected and people who think they are infected or they know who somebody who is isn't infected. Uh, HIV became a worldwide epidemic from uh, from a pilot who flew over to Africa and had several affairs with with female hookers um, in Africa. He traveled he traveled back home to California and started visiting bathhouses. That's how the whole thing started. By uh, by 1981, there was a sense of urgency in people at the time. Uh, AIDS did, AIDS did not uh, have a name. It was seen as a rare blood cancer that only affected homosexuals. Prote protesting began and, demand, and uh, demanded that more research that needed to be done. Uh, in 1985, actor Rupp Cutson passed away from AIDS. And he was one of the first major celebrities to uh, ever uh, be struck with by this deadly disease. In 1986, Rock Hudson's estate was donated, that was donated, and started the American Foundation for AIDS Research. And it was headed, it was headed by Dr. Matilda Krim and Elizabeth Taylor. Today, the foundation is worth over 400 million dollars and is leading the search for the cure. An, over, an overwhelming amount of fear and prejudice towards people, and. Uh, towards people who suffer from AIDS. Princess Diana worked tirelessly uh, to end the prejudice against AIDS. She was the first major celebrity to ever be seen touching an, AIDS, an HIV and AIDS infecting patients ungloved. The entire world woke up when uh, Magic Johnson was diagnosed with HIV in 1991. He made everybody realize that it could happen to anyone, even you. Thanks to scientific research, the, med the, med the, med the, med the medicine consumption of uh, medication uh, was, was, 18, was 18 medications three times a day. And now, thanks to, thanks to scientific research, it has been broken down to one pill each day. Since the beginning of the HIV AIDS epidemic, 60 million people have contracted HIV, 25 million 25 million have died from AIDS-related cases. An estimated 33.3 uh, million people are living with HIV and AIDS. In 2013, uh, more than 40 million people will be infected. An estimated three, uh, an estimated three uh, million people were newly infected with HIV in 2013. More than 1.7 Americans uh, have been infected with HIV and uh, over uh, more than uh, six more than six hundred thousand have died from AIDS related cases, and that's just, that's just that's only in America. Every ten every ten minutes, somebody's being diagnosed with HIV. An estimated uh, twenty one percent of people living with HIV are undiagnosed. Is that little map accurate? Yeah, it is. It is. So if we were to like Iceland, we'll be good. Or France? <laughs> or I don't think France had these little red dots. I don't know. I haven't had that. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, the vaccine has reached phase two, and which means that they're having some progress, and they're testing the vaccine over in Southeast Asia and Africa, where HIV and AIDS is at an all-time high. I became involved with AIDS back in 2010 uh, when I went to go visit a hospice up of children dying from AIDS. Uh, the kid I was assigned to, his name was Joseph. He, uh, when I walked in, he was sweating from a terrible fever, and I poured him a glass of water, and I sat down next to him, and I stayed with him until his fever dropped. When it was time for me to leave, I gave him a hug and told him everything was gonna be all right. He whispered into my ear, and he asked me if I was an angel. Joseph died a week later, and, uh, now, uh, now he's an angel, and uh, from that moment, I took a vow never to uh, ever be self-destructive ever again, because there are other people out there like Joseph who cannot help their condition because they were born with it. Uh, I went and did an interview with an AIDS uh, with 
with a person who is diagnosed, who, who was just recently diagnosed with AIDS, full-blown AIDS. Uh, a five-question interview turned into a five-hour interview about his experience with AIDS. His wasted arms reached out for comfort and support. Um, he felt like he had been punished by God for turning his back on him. Later, he, later he had been denied by every organization in St. Louis, and he has been gone with, he hasn't had medication in two years. He now has full-blown AIDS. Words do not express the amount of aching, the amount of loneliness this person must be feeling as he's approaching the end of his life. Personally, I feel this is neglect and abandonment by our government. The importance of this proposal must not be underestimated. I end this presentation with a quote from Princess Diana. Uh, AIDS is no respecter of color, class, or creed, nor does it hold international boundaries in high regard. All too soon, we will all know somebody who, who had AIDS. A brother, sister, mother, father, son, or daughter. Anyone could be next. I strongly recommend uh, that the future uh, be administered, that the future cure be administered like a like a yearly flu vex, like a yearly flu shot. We can end this organ, we can end this uh, deadly virus, and organize our defenses while we still have time. <laughs>